Hey folks, Wayne Taylor, Honest Home Finder, your realtor in North and South Carolina. I am at Lake Wiley today. Or you might want to call it Clover, just depending on what you want to call your address. With True Homes, Hands Mill, the Manors. Um, Hands Mill has been a neighborhood around for a very long time, a number of different builders in, and True Homes, true to form, is going to come in and uh, sell out the rest of it. I just, I just know it. They've been here for a little while. It's just the first time that I've had a chance to come out and take any videos of the manors. This is the model home, so you know it's going to be a little bit different than a lot of the inventory and the layout because the garage is the office. If y'all seen anybody's videos before, you kind of got a handle on that. I um, always like doing True Homes uh, floor plans. It's one thing that I've liked and my clients have liked about True or their flexibility. It's not, this is the way it is, this is the way it is. They typically give, typically give you a bunch of different choices. That's going to be the office side of things. And we're going to check out this home. And this model is the Riley. 3129 square feet. And again, talking about the different styles that they can put into this. Different flex rooms, different uh, alterations to the floor plans. Just not going to talk about bedrooms and bathrooms right now. If you've got questions, give me a shout. Absolutely. I'm going to put my pad down. Start walking around and talking slow. And I'll apologize now sometimes. I, I know it is a little hard to hear me because I just forget with the mask on that i got to speak a little louder. It's on me. You know, I love a big pantry. It goes back to my mom and daddy. The thing was always full. So this is where you would come through. Don't know what happened there. Where we just came in. This is the butler's pantry. Of course, it's got everything decked out. So that's where you make the coffee and the refreshments for your clients coming in. Tons of natural light. Missing out on some light here. We'll shoot down the hallway, even though it's toward the garage, because this iteration of the Riley does have an office downstairs, and I want to show you that. See, this is typically going to be the mudroom area or a little utility closet, the garage, which again goes through there. Office space downstairs, and this is gonna be one of those types of areas when we talk about flex space and what you're gonna do if you do a build on a home. Um, right now, there aren't a lot of builders doing a great deal of, keeping a great deal of inventory on hand. For different reasons, COVID being the main one, building is on a tighter timeline than it used to be. Either way, let's head upstairs, folks. Okay, we made it up. We made it up. Let's check out some of these secondary bedrooms. Some discussion with some clients on the size and what builder does work, what, and it was a roundabout conversation because you just you never know specific from one builder to another because it's one floor plan to another whether or not maybe the master's not as big but the secondary bedrooms are or vice versa because this one actually feels really big that might be me falling into that uh, zone of rooms look bigger with furniture in them it's an optical illusion the really exact same size like this. That's a, that's a queen. Plenty of room on both sides. Let's see what this closet looks like. I don't always go toward them. I mean, that's for a secondary bedroom. That's a big closet, I think. Now these aren't five hundred thousand dollar homes. True built them. They're just not building them in this neighborhood. Again, just those two. Come back out. Laundry room does have the 
table behind it. I like when they put something in. I wish they throw it in. It's typically an option if you're doing a build. So that's where you're going to do your work. At least where I like to do it. Get it all done before I take it into my bedroom. I like those lockers. Nice feature. Not a standard item. Again. Decent size closet for a secondary bedroom if you've seen any of my videos you've seen the ones and i'll hardly open them anymore that have the double doors bedroom for upstairs media room call it a little loft if you want to we all call them what the magazines tell them tell us what to call them right it's not magazines anymore this is enormous. Yeah. Owner suite upstairs with the sitting area. This is when you really hate your kids. You just lock that door, prop your feet up, throw a couple of shanks of ham, mutton down the stairs, and let them let them feed. Just relax. You got them into this world. You like the animals, do you, right? Let them fend. Obviously, just teasing, folks. But I hear the stories. I do. Hmm. I'm losing my light there. Come on, Mr. Bone. I put a door on this. Never been a big fan of having my clothes sitting. And it's not that dark back in there normally. Just that light's out right this second. But it does swing around. All right, folks. Hens Mill at the Manor. True Homes. Wayne Taylor. Honest Home Finder. My buyers and sinners at the top of the screen, folks. Do not uh, let money go to waste. I'm giving it up. Thank you.